Okay, so let me explain how to calculate your game of life score. So um, over here, you will notice um, that the areas might be slightly different from some of the other videos. Some places you'll see life areas and you'll see goals. Uh, over here, we've kind of merged them into one. So this is what you'll see on your app when you get it, right? So if you click on the life areas, right? This is my, again, yours will look slightly differently from a starting point of view. You can see I've got different areas of my life that are important. There's relationships, fun, health, you know, my still water work, et cetera, uh, self-expression. And underneath each one of these life areas, I'll have, you know, goals that are underneath. And so under relationships, you know, time with Avantika, my wife, my kids, my parents, my in-laws, my sister, et cetera. I put all the time, uh, the important relationships in my life over here, right? Under fun, okay, reading books, uh, learning, sketching, uh, health, getting triglycerides below 150, it's gone up to 206 just now, enjoying um, five kilometers, being able to run that in 30 minutes easily, etc. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to set up um, a new life area. Let's say work, right? Uh, I'm, for me, it's still water, but for you guys, you know, work or whatever you wanna write. I put work, now let me put a nice icon over here. So I'll put windows and full stop. Um, and if I put briefcase here, I can just do that. It'll be slightly different in Mac to get the emoticons and show uh, that those of you who are on a Mac will know how to get the emoticon. So let's say I've got a life area of work, right? Now, as I hover over this, you'll see a little arrow comes up. And if I click on that, it'll give me goals that I can put underneath this life area of work. So it might be highest employee in engagement scores, right? For the year. And let me put again, windows and a full stop, uh, window key and a full stop together. And, uh, you know, let me put a trophy. I can even do, do a search trophy. So you can search for anything that you want to put, right? Uh, and I want to get that that prize. And let's say um, uh, 20 new clients in the year, right? And over here, again, I press the window key and the full stop. And yeah, let me say client and the money goes up. Okay, so I've got two emoticons over here, right? So here I've got my life area of work and underneath that I've got sub goals. Now I can put in this column how satisfied I am. So let's say I have a pretty good relationship with my team. They're pretty motivated. I think I have a decent chance over here. So let me start off with say 70% satisfaction on that, right? Um, but there's some difficult year end conversation. So it's not quite a hundred. I'm not sure how some of them will react, right? Now, again, 20 new clients. Well, I'm just starting up. Maybe just now I'm at 50% satisfaction. I feel like there's more that can be done over here, right? So I've got my satisfaction for the individual goals. And I can say, you know what, overall my satisfaction on how work is going, actually, most of it, actually, it's pretty good, 80, you know, so even though these sub goals are slightly lower than 7, uh, 80, overall, my work is going pretty well, my boss is happy, etc. So I put an 80 over here. Now I can collapse this, right? So I have the work area and you can see that now my satisfaction scores are ranked from highest to least, right? So this is where my work is. Um, I can also put in as many layers if, as I want. So for example, if I say, you know, there's a task of having honest, empathetic, year-end conversations on appraisals, right? So that's a subtask. And again, press the window key and the full stop, and I'll put in a heart, um, right? So just to make this look a little pretty, right? right? So underneath that goal, I have this task, right? And now what I can see is all the life areas in my life just now with the ratings, how satisfied I am, you know, and it may be that I've only done 10% of writing a book, but I'm really happy with the progress. So it's 80%. So this is a satisfaction rating. And at the bottom, you can see there's an average score. And this is what we call the game of life score. And to note this down after you've filled in all the different life areas and the sub goals uh, that you want, you know, one way of asking yourself what would be or what the sub goals are or what the goals are under these life areas is what would need to happen for me to say my health is 100%, right? For me to get my health to 100%, if I get my triglycerides below 150 and I can run five kilometers in 13 minutes, which I can, but it's still a bit of an effort, I can do that quite easily then for me, I would say, yes, my health is pretty close to 100%. So these are the goals that will be required to get this life area at 100, right? So this is your game of life score. Uh, if you forget how to use this, you know, you can always click on this, of course, uh, and that'll show you the description of how to use this. Okay, so let's talk about how you do the same thing on the phone. 
Let me move my phone from behind my head to the right side of the screen and I'll put my desktop on the left hand side. So you can see on the right side, we've got my phone over here. Again, let me just click into the life area over here. If I want to add a new life area at the bottom, I can click this uh, plus new. Um, what else do I want to say over here? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit trickier on the phone. Um, and why is it trickier? Okay, so let's say I want to add something to, let's say, work over here, right? So let's say I want to add a sub goal to this uh, 20 new clients. Now, what I need to do is I need to long press on this. Then I can see this arrow up here. And then when I click it, I'll get the sub menu. So you just need to remember that. Also, if you're deleting something on the desktop, you can just right click and then go to delete. Since there's no right click on the phone, um, you need to click in, go to the top right there, these three dots, and you scroll down and the delete is over here. So you can do the same thing, obviously, in both places, but you just need to know how, how it's done over here. So why don't you go ahead, um, fill all your life areas out, fill in all the sub goals or the goals that you would need to achieve in order for the life area to reach uh, 100%. And then once you've done your satisfaction on all that, calculate your game of life score, Enter it and I'll see you in the next video.